Hello! How's it going? As you may or may not know, I recently made the very bold, brave, and high achieving step in my life to move back in with my parents. For the past two months, I have been making over my childhood bedroom so as not to be traumatized while living here. I went for sort of a soft, bright, Pinteresty yet minimal, yet cozy aesthetic. And genuinely, I love how it turned out and I cannot wait to share it with you. So let's get started. Okay, so this is the current state of my room. I can assure you it was a lot worse before, <laughs> but I got a lot of stuff stacked in the closet and put into my sister's room, who doesn't live here anymore. But there's still, as you can see, a lot of boxes, and other than the boxes, it's pretty much empty. So, so this is gonna be a pretty long process. Uh, my goal for today is to move this twin size bed out and move my full size mattress in. And I think I'm gonna try to clear out a few more boxes today. So that's our first step. Okay, so the first thing I did was move out my old twin size bed to bring in my full size mattress, which mainly involved me just shifting all my piles of junk around like a game of rush hour till I could fit stuff through the door. I had to move my mattress, box spring, and bed frame, so there was a lot of back and forth creating a hazardous block in the hallway while I tried to get stuff where it needed to go. But eventually I got all the old stuff out and my bigger mattress in. First I scooted it into the corner, but then I remembered I am an adult, so I decided to try having it scooted out from the wall, which worked out great. Then I just switched out the bedding to something more neutral, which I thought was going to be temporary, but then I ended up really liking some parts of it, so you'll see a little later what I kept and what I changed. Also, I decided not to set up a bed frame, honestly, because I didn't really feel like I needed one, and I'm not going to be in this room super long term anyways, but I know you want to make fun of me. Drop your jokes in the comments, it's okay. Okay, this is where we're at currently. Uh, still kind of a mess over here, but we'll get to it. I want to hopefully replace this dresser and put it somewhere else so it's not right up against the bed. So next I am hoping to move a shelf up from my basement to put in this corner. All right, so I have this shelf up here. My sister helped me carry it from the basement. And so I'm gonna transfer everything from this shelf, which also includes these items, onto here. This step was pretty simple. Most of the stuff I already had in my last apartment. It's really just my plants, my books, and a few other tchotchkes, and I love them all as my children. A few days later, I also moved my dresser from the other wall to this one right next to the shelf. Uh, I forgot to film moving it, so here's me just putting her drawers back, adding her mirror, getting her all comfy and set up. Welcome to this little corner of my room. This was my bookshelf with all my childhood books and stuff on it. I moved them all off and all the stuff that was on the floor over here. Then I moved all my art and sewing and craft supplies in. And yeah, this is gonna be my like workspace, desk, crafting <laughs> area of the room. And so my next step is to take all the stuff off, move the shelf out, move my work table in, and then figure out some storage for all my supplies. I don't know if I'll figure out all of it at once, but we're gonna get started. Yeah, so I'll be honest, a lot of this transformation is me just moving piles of junk around, and this is once again what I'm doing here, but I also took the childhood shelf out and then brought in my desk, which is actually my kitchen table from my last apartment, but the top folds in half to a nice workspace size. Then I added my chair and put all the piles of junk back for some reason. All right, here's my chair, my table, and all my supplies is on my desk covering the entire surface. So, I'm gonna try to figure out a way to store it. A quick trip to Michael's determined that I would store it in a three-tiered storage cart, and after seeing a quick I'll be back for you to the wooden castles because I really want to paint one, I was home. To start with, I got this three-tier uh, rolly cart. I thought I'd be able to like roll it under this and it's definitely too tall for that. I don't know where I'm gonna store it. <laughs> but for now, obviously all of this will not fit on this cart, but I'm gonna try to condense as much as I can to get on here 
and then see what's next. Here we are once again moving what? That's right, piles of junk. This portion did consist of a lot of putting things on, then moving them, taking them off, just finagling with the dimensions of the cart to maximize storage efficiency. Okay, so obviously there's too much going on here. There's just not enough space. So I'm thinking I'm gonna try to turn the desk so it's facing the window and then I can slide the cart in sort of behind and next to the desk. I hope it works. I'm literally still like sweating and out of breath from moving all that furniture up from my basement. So <sighs> hopefully this is where it'll stay. Once again, I am moving stuff out of the way. Why did I put it there in the first place? I don't know. And I should have just taken the top off completely, but because I love to do things badly and dangerously, I just kind of shifted the top partially, then shifted the legs partially until they were all able to fit to the right place in this tiny corner. I actually think this is gonna work. I didn't know. Then finally, I moved all the junk back into the corner for like the 47th time. Okay, so obviously this area isn't like done, but I think this will work pretty well. We have the table, we have like a bunch of junk stored underneath for now, which honestly is like reasonably efficient. I might have to rearrange that though. Then we have the cart back here. A nice view out the window. I think this is much better than the wall, view of the wall actually. Hi, okay, so here's a little room update. As you can see, things are starting to come together but it's still pretty plain and there are some piles of junk just around. <laughs> so my last couple tasks are mainly to tidy up. I have to buy like a couple more things and then just decorate. And I've decided I'm gonna be pretty chill and minimal with the decorating, at least for me. I'm normally like maximal, but I don't wanna do anything too like intense or permanent or hard to take down because this isn't a super permanent space. Right now, I'm going to change my bedding. Central part of any room makeover. And you may recall from, you probably do, this video is like 10 minutes for you, but for me it's several, several weeks. I had a yellow and gray bedspread that was just like in my room when I got here. I took that one out, I replaced it with the white one. I thought that was just gonna be like for now, but I actually really like it. So, right now, I'm really just switching out the pillowcases. <laughs> Okay, so for my pillows, I wanted to go for that sort of layered, mismatched, soft, pastel kind of look that I've seen a lot on Pinterest. It's so simple and yet so cozy, so cute. Hi! Okay, so I got this um, other pillowcase from Amazon and it is, as you can see, too small because I have no concept of size. I read the dimensions and I was like, yeah, that'll fit. Why did I think that? I thought I was gonna have to just return it or whatever, but then my mom appeared with this lumbar pillow that is the perfect size. I mean, you could also just buy this. I don't know. I was being so lazy. I was like, what am I going to do with this? You could just buy a lumbar pillow. I don't think this is meant to be like a sleeping pillowcase, but I don't need to sleep on it. It can be more of a decorative, you know, a throw pillow, if you will. Wow. That is so cute. It's so much better. I love it. It's gallery wall day. We're doing it right here above my uh, mattress on the floor. That is my bed. Let's get started. Also, shout out to all my Minsky fans out there. Um, please comment to let me know if you're also a fan. For my wall art, I had a very specific vision in mind that I couldn't find anywhere, so I just made something myself and got it printed because I am that extra, so here's that piece. I really love it. Then to actually hang the art, I traced each one onto some unfolded grocery bags so that I could cut them out and tape them to the wall to plan out where each piece would go. I've always seen this technique, but never done it before until now, and I want to say it was helpful, but truthfully, I did still end up changing my mind and moving everything at the end, so I don't know, take that as you will. 
Uh, by the way, if you are wondering where the other art came from, the green text piece I found on Pinterest. The link to buy a print is in the description, along with links to everything I bought for this makeover, by the way. And then the blue scene and the butterfly are both pieces I made in the past and just thought they went with my current room aesthetic. Although, as you can see here, I just wasn't feeling the blue one, so I ended up deciding to take it down and moved the surrounding pieces, which is probably not um, the correct way to use command strips, but they haven't fallen down yet, so I think it's fine. The next area I decorated was my desk, and the first thing I did was get a new lamp for it. Just got my new desk lamp in the mail, so let's set it up. Oh, it's broken. Ugh! <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that didn't work out at first, but luckily my dad has supplies and skills to fix things, so I enlisted his help and picked some art in the meantime. I sorted through my collection, which is too big, but I love it all, and I looked for things that I thought would match the color palette and vibe of the rest of the room. So, here are the pieces I've picked out to hang up, and they're gonna go right here. Also, I don't have my new lamp up yet because Oh, it's broken. With my dad's efforts, hopefully it'll be here soon, but let's uh, try to set these up on the wall. I wanted to arrange the art into sort of a little collage, so I played with the arrangement first on my desk and then just started taping things up. I wanted to keep it simple, but I did end up adding a couple more things after this, so stay tuned to the end to see the final product. Soon enough, I had my fixed lamp. Can we get a go John in the comments for that full lawless repair? Then I just switched out the old lamp, moved the light bulb into the new one, and plugged it in, in case you didn't know how lamps work. Today, we are decorating my uh, dresser top vanity kind of situation. I have a bunch of decor. All of it is thrifted, which is very exciting. And if you want to see the thrift haul where I got it and also a bunch of other super cute stuff, you can watch it. Right here, let's just set it up, I guess. Also, okay, tell me, do you think I should re-DIY this mirror? I DIY'd this like painted pattern on the frame and on camera, I think it looks better than it looks in real life, honestly. In person, it doesn't look great, <laughs> I have to say. So I don't know if you have any ideas, I might try to like take this frame off and completely reframe it somehow. But tell me in the comments what you think I should do with this. All right, let's set it up. Alright, so I started my dresser setup with just some storage stuff I already had and then brought in my newly thrifted decor items. Admire them. Then I just kind of scooted stuff back and forth until I thought it worked and here is where we ended up. One of the things that stumped me in this makeover was what to do for a side table. As you can see, I was trying to use the one I had, but it just didn't work with the bed so low to the ground, so I ended up removing it entirely. And then, while thrifting, I found the perfect little chest to use for bedside storage instead. Hello! Okay, so this wall behind me, it's completely blank. As you can see, I had every other area planned out, but this section I was like, I don't really know. And then, lo and behold, my sister texted me and was like, hey, remember that very large mirror that you went with me to buy? I actually don't have a use for it. Do you want it? And I was like, yes. It's kind of weirdly sized, which is why she ended up not keeping it. But I think I can make it work and I have the perfect spot for it, I think. So let's set that up. Here's the mirror. As you can see, it's a little short, but it's too heavy to hang temporarily, so I'm just making it work leaning for now. I might try to do a stand for it. Let me know if you have suggestions. Hello everyone. So it's been a little while. I just wanted to update you on where I'm at with my room. Hi Comet. My cat is here. I feel like I'm just figuring out the final finishing touches at this point. I wanted to show you. I did make a lampshade. Here it is. I literally just bought a lampshade from the thrift store and hot glued all these pieces of paper onto it, so hopefully that works. So that's going to go on, let me show you, this lamp. This one right here, it used to just have a generic lampshade on it, and I will be replacing it with that as soon as I get a uh, lamp harp to hold it up. I'm trying to figure out if I should do something to this last blank wall. Uh, should I do something with this wall? I don't know. That's where I'm at, at the moment. Okay, so my room makeover is almost over. 
I have one more thing to show you. I didn't really get it necessarily as part of the makeover. It's just something I really wanted to include. And it is this new art print I just got from one of my favorite artists on Instagram. It's at Nini Wanted. And just look how cute this is. I cannot wait to put this up. And I ordered some stationery from her. So adorable. And look how cute, these little freebies. Are you kidding me? This stuff is adorable. I just needed to share it. I'm so excited about them. They're so cute. All right, and with that, we are done with the makeover. So, are you ready for the final reveal? As a reminder, here is what it looked like before. And here is what the room looks like now. I'm sure it will continue to change with time and I'm still trying to figure out if I should do anything with that wall with the mirror on it. Please leave suggestions or ideas in the comments. But overall, being in my room every day makes me feel peaceful and joyful and energized and what more could you want from a room? If you liked this video, you'll probably also like my last apartment tour. That is one of my most viewed videos on my channel, so you can uh, check it out right here. And I do have a more in-depth, full-on room tour planned for this room coming soon, so look out for that. I also heard, if you like, comment, and subscribe, you become hotter. You just do. I don't know. That's what I heard, if you like, comment, and subscribe. Alright, thanks so much for watching. See you soon. Bye!